Okay, let's see King Puff in action here in randoms. Hungo on the opposing team is number one on the leaderboard. Let's see how we can do against him. Now, just to confirm, I am the King Puff at the bottom there on the left, and my deck is on the right. So let's see how we ease into this. We're against Stormbringer and Valorian. So look out for some ranged units. Generally lots of mid-range, mid-tier Imperian units to take that healing. Let's see how we do. Okay, so we've got a Prowler at the top. That's going to shut down the Whirly pretty quickly. It's going to push all the way through. Now remember the bear at the bottom there is great against tanking lots of units at the same time. If they're not doing too much damage with the thick hide, he has a nice little bridge swap from me there. Just grabs a bridge. The real key to King Puff is utilizing your bridge switches as much as possible, especially when you get into the later game. Perk 3 is hugely important, generating those Night Puffs where appropriate. Okay, so we've noticed immediately there that we've got a smite from the opponent. We need to play around that. Shields can help us against that though, so that's something we need to look look out for. And there's a Shen pushing at the top, always a bit of a concern. Remember, Azali's going to be given a shield, but not if she's stunned. That's one thing to pay attention to. Okay, so there we get a shield after she comes out of the stun. Nice timing on the bridge grab. Okay, so we're switching there, trying to get the Defenso Chopper away from our melee stuff at the top. Spear throw is really nice to take out that Vulture Prime. So we're a little bit behind on XP at the moment, so that's somewhat concerning. All King Puff players will know that King Puff has a big power spike of perk 3. So we just need to be in the game at that point, and then we can see what we can get done. Okay, so perk 2 for the red team. Searing Light, removing almost everything at the bottom. The minions clearing it up. So we've got a 20 XP lead at the moment for the red team, which is potentially going to get out of control. We need to be careful. Okay, so the Chain Lightning and the Bridge Switch, they're kind of working a little bit against each other, but it's still worked out. Doing our best here. We know they've got a Dagger Fall, but we get rid of the Vulture Prime just before they're able to clear those Propeller Scratch. Remember, the Propeller Scratch, you get more of them. The Propeller Horde, sorry, I should say. You get more of them if you have a Raged unit. So we can get Rage from KP's Perk 2 buff sometimes. And of course, we've got the Tantrum Throwers to give us Direct Rage. Massive Smite at the bottom there. Really need to look out for that. Okay, so we haven't really closed the gap on XP yet. Bridge Switch coming up here just to get rid of the... To get our uh, small melee units away from the Grenadier at the top that was going to kill them all. Whirly Scrat's going to close the top down, but then the Musketeer, of course, Musketeer got a slight nerf in the recent patch, but still really good against melee units. Last Monster can become really important in these games, especially if it goes into Mana Frenzy. That guy can get a lot of value. Still 20 XP behind. Well, I think we have a good beam on the top here. That's a nice clear because the Whirly Scrat and the Defenso are awkward to remove. So, really nice beam from my teammate. Right, Azali spawned in the pocket. Azali's, the shields she generates are hugely important. You don't want her to be tanking, really. You want her in the back line, staying alive, generating those shields. And that's what we're trying to do at the moment. Right, perk three now for the the red team. So Stormbringer's going to be attacking double fast. The Searing Light and the healing from Valorian's going to suddenly be doubled. Chain Lightning that wasn't amazing. Chain Lightning needs to be targeted, needs to be aimed way more than people realize if you want to get the maximum value out of it. We've closed up a little bit on XP, but not too much. We are at perk 3, so we can start generating some Night Puffs. Teammate, of course, is Morelia, so there is the availability of the Dragon. It's not an accursed Morelia. And there we see Bridge Switch generates our Night Puffs at the bottom. 
They did get slightly nerfed in the, the most recent patch, but they are still a force to be reckoned with. And here we go, Night Puffs being generated, shielding them as well. This is where King Puff really comes into his ele her element, his element, their element. Right, Nivir, that's the perk 3 Nivir for Steak Knives. This is going to be the only dragon that he gets. You really need to be careful because the Snake Druid there can outrange Nivir, lock it up, can be a problem. So trying to support the Nivir as best we can, keeping the bridges where possible. Bridge switch there, getting some Night Puffs from the Scrutillary Scrats. Didn't last very long though. Okay, Rage, Enrage Nivir at the top, doing a great job. Not the most amazing Chain Lightning, there was a shield and there weren't that many units there. But here we've just got to keep the pressure on the bridges. So what I normally do in these situations, I'll hold on to a Horde card like the Skeleton Horde or the Propeller Horde so I can generate those Night Pass when we get the Bridge Switch. Bridge Switch is going to be available. Remember you can see the timer in the top in the perk 1, the timer to the bridge switch. Every 48 seconds now, but of course you can reduce it with the cards that you're spawning. So XP is still in the red team's favour, but we are really catching up here. No shields at the moment, but we're about to generate a bunch of shields. Here we go. That's just the power of Azali. Pushing at the bottom, nice bridge grab with the collision, trying to remove Azali. Azali is still surviving. Azali goes down, but it's almost Mana Frenzy. Neck and neck XP here, but we've just suddenly had those ticks from those two bridges. We've got to Mana Frenzy first. This is where we need to just push on the bridges, solidify our position, make sure we're getting that extra XP, which is turning into Mana at Mana Frenzy, and then we can start really closing this game out. Azali again spawned at the back. Don't want her taking too much damage. We're keeping the bridges constantly here. The red team really struggling at the moment. Chain Lightning hitting everything. Doesn't kill everything because of some shields. But this is fine. Azali pushing forward. Both the bridges have been ours constantly. We've got a heal puff ticking. Beam of Doom there in the pocket. Just to remove anything that's kind of frustrating. Two Azalis up. This is getting out of control. Massive face damage coming out. We were behind on XP, but King Puff perk 3. That's where King Puff really shines. Those Night Puffs. And especially with Azali getting the shields on them as well. Huge value. And the red team just succumbing to this overall pressure. And that is why King Puff and this deck is my current favourite. GG's.